In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this transparent t-shirt effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Daruil here back with another video and as you can see, this is the final output. Now when you select t-shirt for your image, make sure it doesn't have any really big numbers or really big designs on it because it will not work really good with the illusion that we are trying to create. So to create this effect, first of all, let's go to file, open and open the background image that you want to work on. So first of all, select the background and open it. And before we work on, let's crop the background to give it cinematic ratio. And for that, select your crop tool. And here, make sure you have ratio or you can directly use 16 jam 9 if you have newer version. And in the old, make sure you select ratio and numbers are 1920 by 1080. So once this is done, hit enter key to confirm it and then go and click on this arrow. So the background is cropped. Now double click and unlock the background. Now let's go and add the model and for that go to file and this time go and click on place linked uh, and select the photo of your model. Go and place it. Now I'm going to go and make it a little bit big so it fits the background. So hold your alt and shift key and drag it from a corner. Uh, like this So I think this is big enough then go and confirm it now I need to remove white background and for that I'm gonna use my magic wand tool So right click here and select magic wand and in the tolerance I have 32 So go and do a click now We need to do multiple clicks and for that make sure you have the second uh, Option active so you can do that so go and click again again and wherever you see the white area go and do a click also a little bit here okay so this is good enough after that go and click on your layer mask now this is exactly opposite of what we need so make sure your layer mask is active then go and press ctrl i now let's go and make it a little bit bigger so we don't have any gap here so for that again ctrl t hold your alt and shift key and make it bigger from both corners then go and confirm it now we need to make selection of the t-shirt so for that make sure your image layer is active not the layer mask and then right click and select your quick selection tool and make it a little bit bigger use your bracket key for that and then go and select the t-shirt so one click should be enough and after that go back and activate your layer mask again and then make sure that color here is black uh, you can press d for the default colors and press x to flip between them so make sure black color is here then press alt backspace so it will hide the t-shirt and after that make sure your selection is still active then go back to your model layer and then press ctrl j magic okay it's nothing magic like it is just simple copy of the t-shirt and here on this layer because we filled the black color uh, the t-shirt is invisible nothing else so we have t-shirt on different layer and model on different layer so for now make sure the eye of your t-shirt is turned off and go back and activate this layer mask again and if i zoom in as you can see we have this little bit thin line going on that is because of our selection so to fix that uh, just go and select your brush tool right click brush tool and in the color make sure you have black color then right click here and make sure hardness is 100% and then go and erase these lines and when you do it make sure you are painting on layer mask so this is looking good enough now go and turn on the eye of your t-shirt layer and activate the layer double click here and just name it you know t-shirt so it doesn't get so it doesn't get confusing after that we need to make this t-shirt black and white so we don't have any color issues and for that simply just go and press ctrl shift u or you can do it manually you can go to image adjustment and select desaturate whatever version you like so make sure the t-shirt is black and white and after that in the blend mode go and change it to overlay and the transparent effect is ready but as you can see it's not very visible i mean it doesn't look effective so for that go and create a new adjustment layer from here and select levels and in the levels before you do anything turn on your clipping mask so now whatever changes we do it will stay on the t-shirt so i'm gonna go and make it slightly darker i'm focusing mainly on top portion i'm gonna remove it from here so i'm gonna go and make it slightly darker and punch it a little bit from highlights so now if i turn it on and off the top the top portion is a little bit more visible and after that make sure you have your layer mask active here and in the color you have black but this time right click and make sure hardness is 0% and simply make your brush a little bit bigger and erase it from here because I don't want it darker on bottom because it's dark enough because of road 
So looking pretty good. And another problem you can run into if you have really solid white background is this little tiny bit edges that don't look that great. And there is really easy way to fix that. So to fix that, hold your control key and command if you are using Apple. So hold your control key and click on the thumbnail of this t-shirt. And after that, go to select, modify and contract here this one and contract it by two pixels. You might have to change the number if you have different image. So for this, I'm going to keep it to hit OK. And now we need to inverse the selection because we want to delete the pixels from the outside. So to inverse the selection, go to your select and inverse it. And then make sure your t-shirt layer is active here. And after that, simply press delete key. And to remove the selection, go to select and deselect. So now if I zoom in, as you can see, we don't have that white edge anymore. And it looks a bit neat. And now for the final step, we need to apply a displacement map. And for that, again, make sure you have your t-shirt layer active. Then go and click on this little icon here. And here you have option of duplicate layer. So click on that. And when this box comes up in the document, make sure you create a new document and hit OK. So now we have t-shirt in completely new document. And before we do anything else, we need to blur it a little bit. So for that, go to filter, blur and select, where is it? Gaussian blur. And in the Gaussian blur, one or two pixels should be enough for this image. So I'm going to keep it to then go and hit OK. And now we need to save this file. So I'm going to go to file, save and in the name, name it anywhere. So let's name it. Then go and save it and hit OK. Now let's go back to the document that we are working on. And now we need to apply displacement map and we need to apply displacement map on the layer zero, the background. So make sure that layer zero is active. Then right click and select convert to smart object. Then go to your filter, distort and here go and select displace. And first keep it 10 by 10 and stretch to fit, repeat edge pixel, hit OK. And locate the file that you just saved. So displacement map for the tutorial, the one we saved, go and open it. Now as you can see we applied displacement map on entire image but we only want it on the t-shirt. So for that, first of all, activate the layer mask of your smart filter. This is the why we turned it into a smart object. So make sure this layer mask is active, then press Ctrl I. So entire displacement effect is hidden right now. And now we only want it on t-shirt, right? So hold your Ctrl key and click on the thumbnail of the t-shirt. So we have selection of it. And here, make sure you have your layer mask active. And in the color, make sure you have white color and then simply press Alt Backspace. And to remove the selection, you can simply go to select and deselect. So now if I zoom in, as you can see, and let's turn it on and off. So it's very subtle effect and to make it more noticeable, you can simply double click on your displays here. And in the numbers, go and add 20 and here 20, hit OK. And it, uh, select the file again and open it. So now as you can see, it's a little bit more noticeable and it takes the shape of t-shirt. And I know it feels like that we did so much hard work for so little output, but let's go and look at the same effect on different image. So here, as you can see, I have different example and I have the same uh, filter here, uh, displacement map. So here, if I turn it on and off, as you can see the massive difference it makes. But the reason why I didn't use this image for tutorial be uh, because I really hate these black bars and they ruin everything so I didn't use it. So let's go back to the original file here and now a little bit bonus and that is uh, do you know the color of t-shirt was red. So because of that as you can see we have really strong red shadows on his arms. So to fix that it's super easy. Go to your adjustment layers and select hue saturation and here go and click on this master and select your reds and then go and reduce the saturation a little bit. So it is almost gone. And after that, go and change your hue a little bit uh, in any direction until it looks fine. And don't worry, we will mask it out. So only focus on this area. So go and adjust it a little bit. So I think this is good enough. Then go and close it. Now activate your layer mask and press Ctrl I. So everything is hidden. Then make sure you have your brush tool with white color and opacity is 100%. Then go and paint it here like this. And as you can see, just like that, the red color is gone. And not only that, now you can double click back here and in the masters, go and change your hue a little bit until it matches the arm. 
and then again reduce the saturation a little bit and that's it you can play you can spend more time to make it better but now you know how to do it and that's it this is how you create your transparent t-shirt effect and i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below if you are new here you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me also you can click on that subscribe button so every time i upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where i have tons of photoshop tutorials waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop